Good morning. So, uh, Stimber Pixie next development again. It's been a couple of days, so I've got to remember where I was. Ooh. Okay. Right. Oh, yes, page down. Um, so, let's... Um, yeah, I was hitting a bit of a problem and couldn't get scroll top to work, I think. So let's run this. A little review of the problem. So it's not so easy to see in here, um, but basically page down is just always going to the bottom here at the moment. Um, it's not working. Um, Time. I'll just show it in the browser. Oops. Didn't complete. Come on. Yeah. Just clean out my history, I think. Right. So what I've got is um I've got some debug stuff in here. So when I hit page down, it's supposed to work out what the index is of the last item that's totally visible. So that should be the BSIU uh, tick, back tick. Um, but it's not working. So I hit page down and it's saying that top is zero for all of these things. Um, top is um, you know, the top of the, each each of these little lines, basically these components, these list items. So I'm not getting that right. Um, and I've tried a couple of things. Um, and I didn't do any research to find out what the problem was. So let's go have another look. Um, okay. So I'll just stick... Uh, let's Make that small, stick it over there. Like that, like a big code. Okay. So for whatever reason, this, let's go into it. No, I don't want the built in. No, oh, why is it doing all that? Let's do it here. So this scroll top, which is getting a reference, so the component is exposing its, itself as ref, and then I'm getting the scroll top. And that should be um, giving me... Hold on. Uh, the element scroll top property gets or sets the number of pixels that an element's content is scrolled. I'm using the wrong one. This would be used on the list. Somehow I've put the, I've gone for the wrong one there. Yeah, when an element's content does not generate a vertical scroll bar, then it's scroll top value is zero. Well, that's exactly what I'm seeing. Oh, so somehow I've got myself turned around and I've picked the wrong thing there. What I want is for the element, I want to know how far it is scrolled or offset from its parent top. So now we know the offset height is the actual height of the item. And that's what we're using in some of the calculations. Uh, like 
here. We want to get what I thought what I was getting was the the offset of the item plus its height would determine its bottom and whether that's visible. And client height. Okay, uh, let's go see what the docs say because I've picked the wrong one there. Um, I don't know how I've done that. Okay. Um, well, let's look at uh, what well, we know. Offset height is good and is on the right kind of element. What else have we got? Offset parent. That is like the list. What's offset top? Offset top, read only property returns the distance of the outer border of the current element, okay, relative to the inner border of the top of the offset parent. The closest position, Dan says, right, okay, that's what I need. Offset top, not scroll top. Scroll top is the other way around. think. Where is scroll top? Let's have a check. Yeah, no, I already know. Um, okay, so this should be, right, where it turns the distance of the outer border of the current element relative to the inner border of the top of the element. Okay. All right, let's do a little bit of checking and see what that does then. Let's use that. Um, so we're going to rename all these things here. So here I need to use offset. And I need to rename this to offset top. Okay, what was going on there? It's fine. Where is it? Okay, uh, now that won't have changed anything because it couldn't see the reference because it's, it's a little bit um, offset. Uh, <laughs> let's see what we've got, how many of these we've got. I think these are the only ones we've got. Okay, so we can change all them. So we've got scroll top. It's going to change to offset. Top. Okay, um, let's put in some debug stuff while we're here. Um, well, no, let's see what that does. So we've got I'm actually not quite sure what the offset top is, whether it's it kind of sounds like it's the total. So if you scrolled, it's never going to change. It's like in the content. If you're in the middle, you're always in the middle, regardless of where it is in the viewport of the item. So I think it might not change. We'll see. Um, we'll do that. If it doesn't, I probably need to use scroll top from the list item from the list to say where in the list do I start looking from yeah okay. 
Let's have a look. So we'll clear out that. So if I tab in, and if I hit page down, okay, not quite gone to the one I expected. It's gone to the one above because I expected it to be the BSR view back tick, but it's close. Um, so yeah, so index zero, which was the first one, was 64 pixels from the top somehow. Um, but it's picked 14, which has a top of 794, and then the one which has a top of 846 was too far, and so it bowed out and used 14. So if I look at uh, the list, give me the list. Let's do it that way. 863 is its height. And I had, yeah, okay. 792 plus 52. Was it 63? Yeah. So, yeah, it's just under the wire there. That's good. And 14. So, we've got 10, 11, 12, 13. No, hold, hold on. No, no. That's 9, isn't it? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So it's picking that for some reason, even though that's clearly inside. Hmm, okay. Um, anyway, so does it work? Oh, focus back. So if I clear that out and do it again. So go page down. Oh, I've got to tab in first. Page down, get the BSR light. And now I would hope for escape test, but... Right, okay. It's still okay. Yeah, so what I thought was a problem is... The scroll top is the contents uh, position, not position in the content rather than position in the viewport for the list item for the list. Okay, so I do need to scroll it. Okay, right. Um, so let's put some debug stuff in here. I'll change this. So. It has top, and then its bottom is item dot offset top plus item. Oop. Let's put in there. That's going to be more useful, I think, than the height. And then right. So this is where we're failing at the moment, I think. Yeah, uh, no. Yes, it's not quite getting there. It's always saying that it's greater. Right, so what I actually need here is potentially the scroll top. So let's do a little bit of stuff. Let's do some uh, more debugging here. 
console.log uh, list scroll top um, we use an event target aren't we So that's the list. Um, let's also grab that because that might be useful. Just as a reminder, really, more than anything. Okay, um, so that should change, that shouldn't. Okay, what I think I'm going to do here is I'm just going to try this. So if the offset top for an item is less than the scroll top, then we know it's already scrolled off the top of the viewport for the list. So let's do that here. So if it's already scrolled off, don't care about it, move on to the next. Let's start with the top hat, blah. If the item offset top plus its height, so that's its bottom, is less than Well, it's a scroll top plus the window, plus the height of the list. Yeah, okay. So we'll do event target. Oops, scroll top. All right, yeah, so we're looking at the bottom of the list view there. So it's top, the top of the content plus the height of the viewport yeah so that's the bottom okay try that uh, so i'll clear this so we're going to the top so if we do a page down still not doing the right one there but it says the list score top was zero and the client height is 863. And we got to the point where the bottom of 14 was within the client height. Index 15 was not, it was 898, eight, which is about basically okay now if i do another one okay there we go that's better it's not still not on what i wanted but yeah scroll top changed to seven three eight what Why? If we'd picked 14, it should have been 794. That 
That's weird. Why is that so different? It's kind of like it's... It's out. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, does it still work? If I go down another one. Yeah. So I'm predicting P help is going to be selected. Yeah. Uh, snip it. Snip test. Yeah. Okay. So it's working. Get down there. But that's not quite right. So in theory, if I hit page down again, I should get to the bottom, but no, okay, it's not going to. <clears throat> it's out by kind of like three. Weird. Why? Why? Let's go on top of eight then. Home. If I scroll it, all right, okay. Now it'll be zero again. Yeah. So the BSR light, what's it scroll top now? So it says if it's picked 14, it's Hmm. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on there. Why is that out? What can we do there? It knows it's seven nine four. That's it's very strange because that's like the whole height difference there. Don't get it. Why is it not doing what it says it's going to do?
Am I picking the wrong one? Somehow. Oh, okay. No, no, that's okay. Comes in, it's okay, it's okay. So this offset top plus offset height is okay. We set the index. And then we focus it. Zero, one, right, so blah, blah, blah. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. The calculation is wrong. We use zero, we check it, blah, 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 come down. That is definitely in. So we save it off. We go around and look. Come to 15. It should be selecting 15, but it's not. Although, having said that, we say it should be selecting 15. But when you look at the numbers, it definitely shouldn't. It's as if the client height isn't quite right. But we know it is because I've had a little inspect of it before. Eight six three, which is correct. Start at zero. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What index scheme are we using here? Now that should be zeroed. Items. There's nothing there that's the search results will be zero index because it's just an array.
So index zero. Yeah, there's definitely a zero doubt. Oh, hold on, that's not point true actually. There's the zeros. The snippets are zeros. Okay, very strange. Why is it picking the wrong one? Come through. Zero. Zero. We're using the zero. Got the correct offset, bottom. If it's offset too far, don't even bother. If the offset plus its height, is still smaller than the scroll top plus the list height then we're good. Save it away as the possible candidate. If not, actually, should we make that? Should we make that less than or equal to? Won't make any difference, he says. Um, that's just mad. Why is that not working? Because then, Doing it all lock here. Snippets. Last visible deviation. Just to double check, there's not some weirdness between what I think it's selecting and what it is. I don't know how that's going to be any different. So page down, yeah, it's definitely picking the same thing. But it shouldn't.
Is it the same one here? Right, so in theory, a dep should get selected. That's not. Oh, way above. What's going on there? BLC. It's so wrong. Don't know why that is. Okay. Um, that's gone. So okay, it's just I don't understand why it's not picking the wrong picking the right one. Okay, I'm just gonna take out all this debug stuff for the moment. I'm gonna have to do the uh, the opposite as well. Page up. Let's try that. Let's see how bad that goes. So Focused item. Is greater than, whoops. Zero. And key page up. Uh, or event key control B. Let last visible. Ha. Huh. I want it to be the other way around. First visible. Uh, I guess we can go from bottom up, or should we? No, I probably want to go same order actually. Next thing was it? Blah blah blah. If the item offset scroll top, hmm. Actually, we want to go from the focused. That's interesting. Actually, I should do that as well up here. Yeah. 
So let's do that. So from the focused item, we'll actually go backwards. So while the index is greater than or equal to zero. And we use an index minus minus. Got the items bar. If the item offset top is hmm. if it's less than the school top then we break because we already hit the top of the view. Um, but if the item offset top, this is easier, isn't it, is less than, Yeah, it's less than the scroll top, then it's a candidate, so it's still in the view. In theory, we'd never get to here. That's all we need, isn't it? Oh, no, it's the same. If the item offset scroll top is less than the scrolled thing. Oh, no, okay. We could be at the top. No, okay, right, no, done it wrong. Okay, so yeah, we're going backwards, so right. Yeah, we do need to continue there. So if the offset scroll top is greater than the target scroll top, then we definitely just need to continue because we're still in the view. Oh no, we need to do focus stuff. We only want to do a page. Actually want to be counting in this case. Or do we? No, we do want to do a page. I'm going to take the top one, put it to the bottom. That's all we want to do. So, yeah, okay. 
And the item of that scroll top is greater than scroll top. We I had it right. Okay, let's do that. We've, we're done. If we've already gone off the top. If the item scroll top is less than the target scroll top. No, sorry. It's greater than target scroll top. Then it's potential visible and it could be the last one at the top and that's that return equal to just in case Come around, do the do. Okay, I think that's okay. We'll see. So if I page down, or if I go to the bottom, what I would hope is that we get TP a few up there. It should get scrolled to the bottom there. But it didn't. Oh, girls used the wrong scroll. And So go right to the end, and then we go page up, TPFU should come down to the bottom, but it didn't, we got TP instead. So in this case it's overshooting, so teapot in this time, but no, it's overshooting. That's undershooting. Weird. See, that's actually better because you are at least bringing in the next one. Did get to the top, but I'd go off a couple. So that works. But it doesn't work in the other way. Should get to the YT there. Hmm. Okay, all right, well, I better pack up and make it on my day. But we're getting closer. I just need to work out why. Why the offsets are wrong. Why it's, it's showing me the right pixels when I do the debug. But then doing the wrong scroll. Oh, I see, doing the wrong, wrong calculation. So there's something there. That I'm not factoring in. I wonder. I wonder if it's like padding and things like that. I'll have to see. But yeah. Okay. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, until next time, take care.